There are ways your homework. Oh, darn, I left it on the kitchen table. You said what? We at homework? So you don't have it with you? No, sir, unfortunately, I got caught up volunteering at the homeless shelter. Hell no, bro, I was on call of duty all night, bro. Okay, okay, I tell you what. What if I give you to the end of the day? <gasps> really? Thank you so much. I'll be honest with you, bro. I'm not doing this. Now understand, if you don't get it to me today, I'm gonna have to give you a failing grade. Sir, you have my word. I'll get that homework to you. I don't give a damn, I'm already failing. Well, all right then, Daryl, I'll see you this evening. Yes, sir, you will. Such a great man. You, uh, uh the principal, the superintendent, every last one of y'all can kiss my <laughs> License and registration. Yes, sir, officer, I'll get that for you right now. Wait, first of all, what the hell you need my license and registration for? Let me see your license and registration. Second of all, you come around here and get it. I ain't reaching for shit. Are you aware that you were going 60 in a 35? Oh my God, was I really going that fast? Are you aware that I'm about to be late? Are you wasting my damn time? Hold up, now you're making me nervous. Keep your hands where I can see him. Oh, I'm sorry about that, officer. Here they go right here. You nervous? Motherfucker, you got a pistol, a taser, a stick, a bulletproof vest, a flashlight, pepper spray, a rifle. Step out of the car for me. Yes, sir, that's no problem. That's no problem at all. For what? Why the hell is the four police guards back there? Oh, hell no. Damn, what the hell you been? You two hours late. Oh my god, I know. There was so much traffic on the freaking highway. Who the hell? God damn it, you ought to be glad I showed up. But we backed up, so I hope you know you ain't getting no damn break. Yes, sir, I completely understand. I'll work my entire shift to make sure that we catch back up. I ain't getting no... <laughs> <laughs> please. <laughs> and because you late, you're going to have to stay two extra hours. Yes, sir, that's just fine. Anything for the company. Who's going to stay two... Man, f*** you and this company. This is your first and last warning. Next time I'm gonna have to write you up. Sir, I promise you there won't be a second time. Oh no, please don't write me up so that I get suspended and gotta stay home all day and play Call of Duty. That'll be so damn tragic. Now first thing I'm gonna need you to do is go inside, clock in, and start stacking them boxes in the warehouse. No problem, I'll start on that right away. First thing I'm gonna need you to do is get the hell out of my face before I swing on you. All right, come on, let's go, what you doing? Okay, no problem, no problem. Who the hell is you clapping? I beat your goddamn ass. Duh. What the hell is you doing? Why nothing, father. Just awaiting an order from you, of course. I'm watching TV. What the hell it look like I'm doing? Stupid ass question. Duh! Get in there and wash your damn dishes before I knock your head off your damn shoulders. Hmm, I don't remember eating today, but sure I'll do that for you, father. That's no problem. First of all, them your damn dishes. I ain't nothing all day. You wash the damn dishes out. Second of all, go ahead. Come on, come and knock my head off. Come and knock off so I can call the police and they can take your ass away. Girl, come hand me this remote. Of course, father. You just relax. I'll get it for you. How about you get your old ass up and get it? No damn slave. I know good in here. Where are you in here playing that damn PS box in your goddamn room look like a damn mess? <gasps> oh my god, you're right. I'm so sorry. First of all, dumbass, it's an Xbox, not a PS box. Second of all, it's my room, right? Mind your damn business. Go outside and find me a switch to whoop your ass with. <laughs> yes, sir. I guess I gotta learn my lesson one day, huh? <laughs> Go outside and do it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> How you doing this evening? I'm blessed as hell, officer. What about yourself? God damn it, I'm terrified. Any other questions? Why didn't you immediately pull over when I flashed my lights at you back there? Why, officer, my apologies. I can assure you I didn't see you flash your lights at me. Because I was thinking about dusting your ass if it wasn't for all this damn traffic. Do you know why I pulled you over? No, sir, I don't, but I'm sure it's with good reason, officer. What law did I break? Because your ass ain't got nothing better to do. So what the hell is it, Mr. Officer? Sir, so are you aware that your tags are expired? Ah! Oh my god, are they really? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just pull $200 out of my ass and take it to the DMV. Oh, that's right. I ain't got it. So unless you plan on taking your ass down there to pay for it, how about you get the hell out of my face? Where the hell are you coming from? Well, I actually just left work and now I'm headed to Bible study. <laughs> from selling drugs. What the hell it look like I just came from? Sir, I'm gonna have to search the vehicle. Do you have any illegal substances? Illegals? Oh my god. You mean like drugs? Of course not. Uh, let me just check real quick. Did you see if I if I got anything? So, how about you tell me a little bit about yourself, sir? Well, sir, I can assure you I'm a hard worker, I'm a team player, and I don't believe in excuses. I mean, really, bro, I just be chilling. Like, I be on Netflix playing the game. I swear to God, bro, you can't see me in Call of Duty, bro. I sweep your ass, bro. Why do you want to work for this company? It's always been my dream to work for this company. <laughs> Hell, cause ain't nobody else hiring. And why do you want this job? Well, sir, I believe that my attitude and my skill set will bring more customers to the company. I don't want the damn job. I need the money. The rent is due and they about to put me on my ass. What else can you bring to this company? A great attitude and I can guarantee you an increase in sales. What am I? <laughs> <laughs> my presence is enough. <laughs> what can your company bring to me? 
Tell me about a time you had a problem at work and how you solved it. Well, I remember one time this lady brought back a faulty toaster. And not only did I get her a new toaster, but I also got her $10 off her next purchase. Well, I remember this one time at Walmart, I had to slap this nigga because my check was late. Well, do you have any questions for me? No, sir, I think we're good to go. When the hell do I get my money? How you doing, Mr. Stevens? So, you trying to have sex with my daughter? <gasps> no, sir, I'm a Christian. Hell yeah. How'd you meet my daughter? Well, I met her at the library. Boy, I saw that ass my way across the parking lot. Boy, that thing was moving. Boy, that thing was shaking, shaking, shaking. What do you like most about my daughter? Well, her mind is just so beautiful. She thick as hell. So is this your first relationship? Yes, sir. Define relationship. Do you think she's the one? I've got a strong feeling. Well, son, it was great to meet you. The pleasure's all mine, sir. I'm finna get some. You got some condoms? What? Never mind, never mind.